Hey guys, so today I have my April beauty favorites. So yeah, let's just jump right in without even blabbing on on about how fast this year is already going by. Um, yeah, it's crazy. So I know I do have like two or three things that I talked about last month. I can't remember for sure, but yeah. But I know I have some other things that I didn't talk about. So it's good. Yeah. I'm going to try not to take too long either because I just filmed two videos and I don't know how much room I have on my memory card. Probably a lot, but I don't know. I don't want to take any chances. So, first of all, um, my friend Amber went down to Grand Rapids and she was able to go to Lush for me, um, which she got some stuff for her and a friend too, um, but she did, was able to go like a month before for that too and she got me the cupcake mask but this time they were out of it um so I couldn't get it again I totally forgot to mention that mask in my last favorites but I absolutely love the Lush cupcake mask for their fresh mask I haven't tried any of the other ones but the cupcake one is amazing for oily acne prone skin and it smells so good like a chocolate cupcake I mean what's better than that um, but they were out of that one this time, so she I had her get the mask of Magna Minty for me, face and body mask. Um, this is packed full of peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby aduki beans for deeply cleansed skin. Um, I love a Lush mask because um, obviously they made it a little bit fresher, but also. Just no matter which one I use, whether I've used a cupcake mask or I've used this one, they just, they clean your skin really well, but they also leave it feeling soft and moisturized. So it doesn't feel like dried out after you use it. And this one obviously smells like mint, because literally mask of Magna Minty. So yeah, it's very pepperminty. Um, but they have two sizes of this one. This one's 4.4 ounces, and it's like just under $13, I think. And then they have a bigger one um, that's around 24 or 25 um, You can get this one on Lush's website, um, which I've never ordered just because I do not want to pay for shipping. Um, but the fresh face masks, obviously, you can only get in the store. Um, so, yeah. I so wish we had a Lush Close just so I could like go get that fresh face mask every time I run out <laughs> but um yeah so I've been loving that um and I do need to make sure I use this fairly often because it says used by July 12th and normally masks this size like lasts me a lot longer than that so yeah I need to make sure I use that regularly but my skin could use it anyway and then as far as makeup, um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this last month, but the Murad Skin Perfecting Matte Finish Primer. I do absolutely love this with my uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation like I mentioned before. I won't go on and on about it. I won't go on and on about it, but um, yeah, this is a really great primer. I'm just really bummed that I probably won't be able to get it again because... When I looked up on Amazon, it was like listed for like a ridiculous price, like $90 or something. I mean, come on, it's a good primer, but really, even if I had the money, I wouldn't spend $90 on a primer. Even if it was like a much higher end brand, I, I just, no, no. So yeah, that's a good primer, but not paying that much. Um, and then the Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. I went back to this because I do need to use it up. But this is a really great primer. Um, it smooths, modifies a little bit, um, hydrates. It's a really great primer. <sighs> Can I talk? It is a really great primer. It does come with 1.7 ounces. Um, so you do get more for your money. And I do have the shade Medium, which works for me all year round because it is such a sheer tint um yeah and this one expires next month so i do need to use up that last little bit and then hopefully get another one because this is just a great one that really works for me any time of year so yeah 
I do really like that one. And then a combo I'm wearing right now, um, you'll see it in an upcoming foundation routine video, but love this combo. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless mixed with my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. These are incredible. They add the perfect coverage to anything. Um, I haven't tried them with just a moisturizer or, found, or primer, but you can do that and pretty much create your own. Um, but I did mix it with my foundation in 125 Nude Beige today. And if I have a fresher self tan, I'll use 130. Um, so yeah, absolutely love. And these are seriously incredible. Love. And also love that Cover FX has really good ingredients. They're free of, um, and I'm sure all makeup has something that's not the best for your skin, but Cover FX is free of all like the nasty chemicals. They're also free that they're free of talc or anything like that. So yeah, not that there isn't any in this. I'm sure there is, but whatever. I just love Cover FX. And then I also recently used a couple times my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in Light Medium. This is my summer shade. And I feel like this shade just covers better in general um, than the lighter one. Something about it, like, it's good coverage, but I feel like the lighter shade doesn't cover as well, if you know what I mean. Like, because it's not as dark, it doesn't cover redness as well. I don't know. So I just really do prefer this foundation in the summer, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, but I do really like it. It has great coverage. And again, I like Tarte. It doesn't have any nasty junk in it. Um, so yeah, love that. Um, and I do really like it with the Miracle Skin Transformer for a primer. And then for blush, um, I mentioned this last month, so I'm not going to go on and on, but Clinique Cheek Pop in Plum Pop is just gorgeous and so cute. I'm actually wearing off the pretty flower, but um, it does last for a long time before it starts to kind of fade the little flower, which is nice. But these are just gorgeous. I love the finish of them. They're just perfect. They don't look too powdery or anything. And then I finally pulled back out and I am wearing it today. My Amazing Cosmetics Pink Chocolate. It's just the perfect color basically, which is a light nudie pink. Um, again, I love the finish of this one too. It doesn't look too powdery. Um, it's a great everyday kind of color, but as you can see, I've already hit pan, so I don't know. I'm afraid to use it too much. I don't want to run out, <laughs> but um, yeah. That one is a really pretty color, and I feel like both these also last really well throughout the day. Oh, and something I wasn't going to throw in here, but I will go ahead and mention, and I got lotion on it. How do I do that? Um, another thing my friend Amber had picked up for me at Lush the last time was a Lush Lip Service Lip Balm. I do really like that too. Um, just kind of smells fresh and like a little bit lemony. Yeah, I think it has... Oh, what does it have in it? It's tangerine oil and lemon, I think. Yeah. But it's just a really great lip balm. I usually put that on um, before I start doing my makeup or just any time. And I really like it. So yeah, that's the Lush Lip Service Lip Balm. And then um, this lip gloss, the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Japanese Spring, which I think this might have been a limited edition kind of thing, um, but I've had this since last summer. I got it at my CCO, and I don't know why I had put it away for so long, but that's all I'm wearing right now, and I really love it. It's fantastic on top of lipstick, because it's just a light, sheer wash of color. It's not sticky like the lip glasses, which I don't mind sometimes, but... I mean, the stickiness of the lip glasses helped those last longer on the lips, but sometimes I just want something smooth, like my lip NYX butter glosses and stuff that aren't going to be too sticky. 
and this is more like that it's just really nice it's absolutely beautiful just a sheer pinky shade and yeah I've been loving it so yeah and that's the MAC cream machine glass and my ears in a tunnel again I can't hear Ugh. and Jocelyn is moving I can feel her little butt or something <laughs> uh, anyway um and then when I was at Walmart recently um I did find a new line by Swartzkoff Swartzkoff yeah Anyway, they came out with a new line that is developed with Claudia Schiffer? I don't know. Apparently she's some kind of professional, but I haven't heard of her, so that's not why I bought it. But it just looks like a good product, and it is, as far as I can tell so far. I've been using it like maybe about a week, and I really like it. Um, the only thing I don't like is the way it sprays out. I really wish it was more of a dispersed spray when you spray it in your hair, but I mean, after that, I just kind of like rub it. My, I'll rub my hand through it, you know, just trying to spread it out a little bit more. But anyway, this was only about seven or eight dollars, and it is the Satin Frizz Control and Protect Heat Protection Straightening Spray with flexible hold satin smooth serum so it is a slightly heavier uh liquid but it's not super thick which i need something that's kind of that medium of not too thick that's gonna like weigh down my hair um and frizz control is something i always start looking for in the spring because it's gonna start we get those rainy days it's gonna be humid so in the spring and summer I always need something with frizz control. Um, although I can't say how well it does that quite yet because it's not like I've worn it out on like a super rainy day running around running errands or something. But so far I do really like it. My hair feels smooth and soft after I use it. Um, yeah, it feels like it does what it's supposed to and it protects the hair from heat. Um, yeah, so it's, it doesn't smell bad, it just kind of has that slight scent, like a professional-ish product should. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I like it. There was all kinds of different products in this new line that they have out. Again, at Walmart, I don't know where else, probably anywhere else that this brand was sold. Um, I had used some other products by this brand, um, from just their, their older line, um, like, they have a few products that I've heard people talk about before, um, like their other heat protection spray, it's called something like Angel, uh, I can't remember, but anyway, yeah, I've used products from them before and they're pretty good so anyway all that said stop laughing I do like this and it's affordable which is great so yeah I think it works okay so that is it for my favorites I hope I didn't forget anything um oh I did <laughs> my tart tartlet palette I am in love with this thing. Um, I did use Wanderer in the crease today, a little bit of Dreamer on the lower lash line, a little bit of Super Mom in the inner corner, um, just for a really neutral, light, kind of easy look. But ugh, I'm really bad at showing. I don't want to like blind you all with the massive mirror, but this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Um, the shadows are smooth and buttery, and they are just perfect. Absolutely love. I'm so glad I got this. Love, 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 love. So, now, that is everything. And 
I'm gonna go before I keep blabbing on and on. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one very soon. Bye, guys!